Welcome to Mathematics with Ams, Grade 9 lesson on estimation and rounding. Please don't forget to give me a like and to subscribe. Estimation. So before we do we even do a calculation, we should estimate the answer. It is actually good practice to guess or make an intellectual guess more or less what the answer should look like. We can use rounding for that, for instance. Look at the first example. Rounding to the nearest ten, hundred and thousand. If we round to the nearest ten, we look at the last digit. For instance, 4,391 is the equivalent of 4,390 because 1 is below 5 so therefore we round down. The next one, 89,255. So 55, we usually round up. So therefore, 89,260. So if the digit is more of more 5 or more, we round up. If it's less than 5, we round down. Let's look at rounding to the nearest hundreds. We look at the last two digits. For instance, 3243. So 43 is below 50. So therefore, we round down to 3200. 77,883. Now 83 is above 50. So therefore, we round up. So therefore, 77,900. If we round to the nearest thousand, we look at the last three digits. So 5,332. Now 332 is below 500. So therefore, we round down to 5,000. 12,764. Now 764 is above 500. So we're going to round up to 12,800. Or secondly, we can use what we call doubling and halving to estimate an answer. For instance, if I want to estimate the answer 664 times 47 without using a calculator, then what you do is you write down the problem 664 times 47, then you round 664 to 660 down and you round 47 up to 50. That's what you do. Then you get a half of 660, which is 330. And then you double 50. So take note, you half 660, which is 330, and you double 50, which is 100. And then, of course, if you multiply by 100, you add two zeros. So therefore, the answer is 33,000. So let's solve a few problems using rounding and compensation. So when we use rounding off to estimate, we can compensate for the amount we rounded and then get an accurate answer. For instance, look at the example 87,432 minus 28,996. So what we do is, we round 87,432, we round it down to 87,000, and the 28,996, we round up to 29,000. Then we subtract the two, which is quite relatively easy, so therefore the answer is 58,000. Then we take the 87,000 and we subtract the 87,432. That original value and we get the answer of negative 432. We do the same with the 29,000, subtract the 28,996 and we get a 4. So then we add those two differences. So negative 432 and a negative 4 is a negative 436. Right, so that is what we do. Then we take the 84,432 minus 28,996. Then we get 58,000 minus a negative 436. And that gives us 
58,000 plus the 436, and that gives us 58,436. To go to the next example, when we add 367 plus 729, then what we do is 400 minus 33 plus 700 plus 29. So that gives us 400 plus 700 minus 33 plus 29, which gives us 1,100 minus 4, which is 1,096. Now, I know these examples might not look easy, and maybe it's not the easiest way to do rounding and compensation, but please just go through them again. Make sure you understood the explanation. Let's look at a few examples. Estimate the value of 812 minus 342 by rounding off to the nearest 100. So 812, we must round down to 800. 342, we round also down to 300. And there you are. 800 minus 300 gives you 500. Right. Estimate the value of 229 times 48 by doubling and halving. So 458 times 24, right? So what you do is, so we double 229 and we half 48. We multiply them and the answer is 10,992. Then number three, so 45,678 plus 12,654 by rounding and compensation. So solution, so we round up to 46,000 and we round 12,654 up to 13,000. So we round both up and then we add them to give us 59,000. Then we subtract 46,000 and 45,678 to get 322. Do the same with 13,000 minus 1,264 gives you 346. And then you add those two values gives you 668, then subtract it from 59,000, and you get an answer of 58,332. Right, I hope you've enjoyed this lesson on estimation. This is uh, Ahmed Suleiman. Please don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe.